world, my name is Anaji and welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? It is very bleak out there, I know. I hope that you're safe. I promised to do a vlog last week on sexually transmitted infections, the one that you can exchange while dating, but obviously we are home, isolated, social distancing, social isolation. We have no time to date anyway, so we will leave this for now. We are home, so we are safe, hopefully, and the people who are not caring to stay home, please just stay home until this whole thing is over, right? We have bigger fishes to fry now, so sexually transmitted disease is not the virus we are scared of we are scared of the coronavirus where are we on the corona pandemic right to scale is someone keeping tabs on the numbers the coronavirus if we ignore the iceberg effect which says what is seen in a pandemic is minor compared to the numbers on scene so we could say we are literally crippled people presently we are 237,000 cases of that virus globally. I do not want to know what else is lurking in there that nobody else has discovered. Mm, hold on. I want to take a moment to recognize all my colleagues on the front line who are working with limited gloves, gown, mask, N95s. The nurses, the doctors, and all allied staff at the hospital around the world, we thank you for your services. And yes, if anybody's asking, you deserve triple pay and for your sacrifices, and we are praying for you. I would also like to thank all the paramedics, the law enforcement officials, the firefighters, sanitation workers, and social workers who are not allowed to stay home. Please let us continue to keep them in our prayers, and please pray for their safety. For those of you who are lucky to stay home with your loved ones, I pray that you continue to practice the needed steps to keep yourself and your family safe. Now I know that you are busy practicing your social distancing from the coronavirus. You are not used to being at home with your loved ones, right? All day, all night, all week, they are not used to that, right? And they are probably driving you insane. Trust me, my house is full with people right now. Literally filled with people right now and it's too much, too much noise. The house is hot. They're using up all the cold air and the energy. So the house is extremely hot. So I know this, right? It is time to take matters into my hands, right? So as the mayor of Homeless Romantic City, I needed to jump in to help you deal with the cabin fever as much as I can. I don't understand your cabin fever issues because God forbid, I love being at my house. I love not going to work. I love not needing to get dressed to work. I love teaching from my bed. I may actually keep this coronavirus on a little longer just to stay at home a little longer because God forbid on a normal day, I am never at home long enough, right? I'm working, 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 working. By the time I get home, I'm too tired to even enjoy the house I'm paying the bills for. Now, the only part missing in my home isolation and distances is the presence of Idris Elba. He's somewhere being cute with someone. Yes, I know he has the virus, but can you imagine who's the better person to take care of him? His wife or myself? I do miss him. I do miss him. Now, if I had never seen pics of the Poconos, right? In upstate New York, Connecticut, I would have assumed I was in heaven. So until the virus evaporates and Idris comes back to me, my social isolation is heaven adjacent. Right. My topic this week is how to make COVID-19 seductive. Trust me, you're stuck at home. What else is there to do? If there is a sexy side to this virus, trust me to find it. For all the single ladies who are home alone, please buy lots of wine. You see me drinking my mimosa? You need it. Lots of wine. Watch my previous videos and join a free dating site. We don't care which one. They have a few. Match.com, OK, um, OK Cupid, Healy, whatever one, we don't care. Just choose one. Why on that site, I need you to perfect your total recall scan where you can scan them to see who is cute, who is tall, who is fine, who is hot. I need you to do that and get to know them over the phone. I do not recommend any commingling during this crisis. No, no, mm -mm, no, no dating. 
The cabin fever will make you desperate. It will impair your judgment and have you all confused. And furthermore, to date, what do we need? Our nails done, right? Eyebrows done, eyelashes in, right? And mm, the painful waxing. You are not maintaining those habits, not even for a cute guy. It's much too risky, ladies. Leave it alone. Please be careful. Pay attention to the men who ignored you all year long or treated you as an option, but all of a sudden crawling back to you, not because they love you, but because they are bored too and they cannot cook. The DoorDash, Uber Eats, restaurants, all of them are out, so they are hungry. Don't be anyone's pot of call. Stay at your house. Go read my book, Forbidden Encounters, and explore your sexualities. Now, if you did not do this before, I strongly recommend subscriptions to Netflix and Hulu and charge the bill to your mental health insurance. Yes, it's needed. You need to be sane by the time this seclusion is over. So go on, subscribe to the Hulu and the um, Netflix ladies. You need it. And it is allowed. Have I ever studied you wrong before, ladies? So far. I would strongly discourage all physical dating at this time. Coronavirus is busy making rounds and you do not want to look and find it hidden under one of your boobs, right? Right? So place an embargo on all physical contact until it is clear. Go brush up on your sexting or make your own home hand sanitizer, right? Now, to all the taken ladies, you're the ones I'm talking about today or talking to today. I know you have husband, boyfriends, wives, significant other. I know I am an equal opportunity person. And you have all these horrible children at home with you, right? Quarantine with you and getting on your last nerve. Trust me, I have them at my house, so I know them. Yes, you love them, but you desperately need an escape. Here is where I come in, right? At this point of your social isolation, you have done the talking, played the card games, cuddled, Started impromptu useless fights about toothpaste and toilet seat. Newsflash, put it down when you're getting there if it's up. No need to fight about that. And you did all of this just so you can get two minutes to yourself, which would never happen. With children and partners at home, your chances are slim of getting any time to yourself. Your home may not be big enough to move to another room, so you are left to sulk all alone for attention. While your spouse is busy watching, naked and afraid, Spots and truck um, shows, demolition something, and fishing and wrestling shows. So you're stuck alone watching or binge watching Love is Blind or something cute on Hallmark. On a typical day, I would have advised you to do a quickie and let him drift into a harmless coma for some needed time alone with the remote. But he will be up at 2 a.m. again and then you will still need to entertain him so i'm saying start from the beginning since quarantine is my ideal paradise i'm in an excellent mood so why not cheer you up and you are desperate so ladies let me sprinkle some fairy dust on this whole issue get a glass of wine along with a pen and paper because at this time you need an action plan and we need to create one if you have children i highly request that you feed them, only the children, something incredibly heavy. You want them to fall asleep. I would have said give them some melatonin, right, to sleep. But again, I'm a nurse and I don't believe in drugging children. And if God forbid you overdose them, you have no hospital to take them to because the COVID is in there. And you want to keep your baby safe. You just don't want them on the foot, but you want them safe. Now, but desperate measures call for, right? Desperate anything, right? Let the kids stay up, guys. This is not the time to have a bedtime. No. Read them a story, tuck them in bed, let them have the television on, let them have their video games in their room, because for once, you do not need a quiet house. You need them distracted and very loud. Now go chill to glasses and get into your bedroom and set up some drinks. Create a playlist of your favorite love making songs. Yes. You may need to try dancing with this man. It will relax you. Trust me, he's already relaxed watching TV. He doesn't need anything else but food. I'm probably sad. But you need to relax. So we're doing this for you, not for him. And you are not relaxed. So you need to follow what I'm telling you. If he can sing, oh, so much better for you. Mm. Right? 
grab whipped cream from the fridge yes on the refrigerator door it should be there get some strawberries get some strawberries yes they are still at the store now if you have a man and have no whipped cream and strawberries at your home I will have to question your judgment how dare you get some cheese and crackers also while you're at it some finger foods and put them in the bedroom with you prepare a warm bubble bath light some scented candles in your room and your bathroom don't burn down the house you have nowhere to live you're quarantined in this house stop burning down the house just set the mood just make it enough so you're going to dim the lights then get out of your clothes and slip into a nice fluffy comfortable robe with nothing underneath the robe is too much yes but you have nothing underneath so it's easy to seduce him with this and get your partner away from the wrestling it's okay how do you get him away go stand in front between him and the tv and open that rope right <laughs> so if he's hungry for either food or the rope he will come he can catch his show on demand later he's stuck at home anyway be careful how you ask him to come to you please use fewer words and more body language and standing in front of him the naked body and the rope right Ladies, I told you I have no experience with men in this new era. Young or old, I am still confused. I once had a warm-blooded man ignore me all night in a sexy teddy, guys. Mm. Which made my boobs look magnificent. Ladies, you know the type where it just shoots everything up and everything looks beautiful. Because I asked him. So please, well, I didn't say that, well, please leave the computer. I said, could you please leave your computer and come make love to me? Ah, don't forget, ladies, we were on vacation. He thought I was ordering him around. Ladies, I told you our men are extinct. And this is still, and those still alive are still extremely strange. Since when a man cares how we ask him to take us? I was kissing his neck at the time at 11 p.m. at night. I expected him, right, to wipe everything off the table, right, and ravish me right there and then on the table. But he saw it as me being demanding because he would not be ordered around. Yes, so my critics out there, I, I am too chubby to be on any table. But the fact that counts, the table we could have replaced, yes. But I am an original mortal, right? And he had me, and he was not interested. He needed to prove a point more than to sleep with me. How ridiculous. Again, I misread the scene. I thought a weekend away was for talking, foreplay, and lots of sex with no kids around. So either he was not into me, which could happen. They have men who are not into me for whatever reason. Or I was not who he wanted to be with this weekend. I have been wrong before. Who knows? Ladies. This isolation now will reveal hidden secrets. Take heed. Are they really into you or using you? How long can they fake it? Ladies, maybe in this era, you do things differently than I envision. So please enlighten me. Saying all this to say, be careful how you speak to those men. We do not want to spook them. They are not as steady as before, right? They are a bit fragile. So we need to be careful how we affect their fragile tendencies. I miss the men who did not need a verbal or subtle invitation to ravish us. If we are dressed in a sexy nightgown, his brain should know what you're planning to do. Because trust me, in a sexy nightgown, unless if you're planning to wear it every night, that should tell him you're not planning to read a book. I may need to go back in time and create myself an 18th century man. Now, after you drag the poor man into the room, remember to please lock your doors. Trust me, you do not want your kids to walk in on the scene, do you? I want you to collect some Bath and Body Works um, massage oil and hand him a drink along with some of the finger foods as he walk through the door. Then you're going to lay him down on the bed and give him, undress him first, God. I don't need to tell you all of that, but let's assume you didn't realize that. Undress him first. Then lay him down on the bed and give him a full body massage. Then refresh his drink the minute he's done. Drag that poor man after the massage to your shower and bathe each other. CDC recommendation. You need to bathe. That's the only way to get the virus off you. You bathe. Right? 
wash every trace of that virus off each other. Use your hands, use whatever you need to in there, but wash it out. Ladies, right now, you need to be extremely natural, right? No eyelashes, no fake nails, no wigs. Keep only the things that you can wash and wear daily because you will be doing this every night. It's okay, your partner loves you to be natural at times. They just don't tell you anything. Most times they love when you're extremely natural and beautiful and fresh, as opposed to all the fake things we add to our bodies. After the bath, I want you guys to sink into the tub. Remember that bubble bath you prepared? And marinate together while drinking and feeding each other. After the bath, I would have said, head to your room and grab my book, The Forbidden Encounters, and to read the stories from the night at the Hard Rock Cafe to the beach and the pond in Mavnik and complete it with the night at Jade Mountain Resort in St. Lucia. Again, you should have had a copy of that book, right? You should definitely have had a copy of that book. I specifically wrote this book in anticipation of this pandemic. Yes, I know it was coming and you didn't get it. Now, getting a copy now on Amazon. Do you want to detangle yourself away from a very relaxed partner just to get on Amazon at this time? No, you should have prepared. Now, this man just drank, right? Whatever you give him. He ate, he had a bath, sleep is next. So you just have a narrow window. Do you want to waste time scanning a book or make mad passionate love? So that's why I said, you should have had a book right there and you should have just used it for stimulation. If you have not read my book now, with all these kids at home for two weeks, or as long as this, indefinitely, right? This is definitely not the right time to explore your sensual abilities, no. My book was only meant for lovers, old lovers to spice up their love lives, new lovers and honeymooners, and single women who are free to explore. You are much too busy with a household with people to read my book right now. We may be isolated for months before the all clear, and time will prove if you are in love with each other or are holding on because you do not want to start over. Here is the test, lady. Is he his home? Home with you, with no buffer. He can't go anywhere. You finally have his full attention. He can't go to the bar, no work, no meetings, no gym, no spots with his friends. He can't go out to the strip club or out with his friends. Like I said, he can't take the kids to the park. You do not have to go to work in the morning. He can't leave and go visit his side chick, right? This is the best time for you to remind him while he chose you. Make him forget her. Who knows how long that virus will be out there. By the end of the isolation, he may not even remember her name and address, right? Get on your knees. Hang from the ceiling fan and window if needs be and reclaim his love. And don't you dare do this. Oh, I don't feel like it. Oh my gosh. The world is at his knees and so should you. What else do you have to do but enjoy each other? If you don't get out there, pregnant or dead after this whole global siesta you do not want this man let him go it's okay let him go someone out there wants him more and let yourself go find the person you'd rather be with because if you're in isolation and you are in the same mode that you were before saying I, you don't even know he's gonna make it for the coronavirus he may die first and you're still there talking about you don't feel like it cut it out cut it out if you had nothing from me from that video, just remember, cut it out and go, please each other. That's the most you can do to get rid of the cabin fever, right? Okay, ladies. Now, please remember to be safe. Have a great weekend. We do not know how long this thing is going to be. I need you to please like, share, comment my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Let me get back to my mimosa. Thank you.